Many cases of elder abuse um, go unreported because they're not recognized by older persons as being a, a problem other than a problem that they may have created themselves. Psychological abuse, which is the most common form of abuse, is, uh, flies under the radar. It can be intimidation or harassment or infantilization or control or denial of rights. Uh, but most older persons, as many other marginalized groups, don't recognize that they have a legal problem. They consider that their problems are simply problems of their own making. And we try to bring them the information that there is a component there that is unacceptable and that they have recourses. The most common and most commonly reported type of abuse, it, because it's easily recognized, is financial exploitation. If someone has taken your money or taken your card or taken over control of your, your life and going to the bank, um, and you see that you don't have as much money, um, certainly that is something that the client recognizes. But in terms of red flags, it's the person who then is accompanied to the, to the bank, someone else speaking for that person, or the person is not going to the bank any longer, and someone else is dealing with their affairs. And these, we count on banks to be very, very attentive to changes of habits, taking out money that was never part of their normal habits. Well, most elder abuse is most commonly the result of family uh, problems. And uh, the abusers or the exploiters are family members. It may be completely innocent or accidental, and sometimes it's intentional. But the righting of those wrongs are ones that should be done uh, outside of the court in using, involving the client even a client with diminished capacity can be involved and participate in uh, evolving a family meeting where we talk through the wrongs that have been done in a very respectful way, respectful of the, um, of the abuser as well, in the presence of other professionals as well, so that we make sure that there is not going to be any further abuse that is perpetrated uh, against the person and that there will be follow-up by the professionals to ensure that there's no reprisals. But we repair relationships when we have these kind of family meetings, and we usually get restoration in some manner, in often creative manners, we get restoration of any money that might be taken, and we certainly empower the person who might be psychologically abused.